And the federal government is helping businesses impacted by the big fire. The goal, of course, helping those businesses get back on their feet. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas joins us live tonight in Superior. And Dylan, there are many businesses, of course, seeking all different levels of support. Yeah, and when you look behind me, you see an ordinary shopping center with open businesses. But when you move just across the parking lot, a completely different scene, complete and utter destruction caused by the Marshall Fire. Because of scenes like this, now there is federal assistance handing out small interest loans, loans which can go a long way on the road to recovery. We were evacuated from our building when the fire hit. It was probably one of the most scary experiences we have faced to date. After nearly two years of navigating COVID, now businesses in Superior and Louisville are having to bounce back from a historic wildfire. When we evacuated, we thought our building was going to be gone. Callie and Brianna Fry own Fearless Motion Dance in Superior, one of many businesses damaged by the Marshall Fire. When they first returned to the studio, they felt relief. Um, but immediately it kicked into, oh gosh, how long are we going to be out of our building? Significant smoke damage means the studio is out of business until it can be deep cleaned, which is costly. Cleaning our facility from top down to make sure the smoke is completely out of our space. So they went to the Small Business Administration at the Disaster Assistance Center for help one of 57 companies to do so thus far. We help to focus our efforts on helping those businesses who were affected by the Marshall Fire. They can come in and they can expedite the process of their application for federally backed disaster loans that are low interest rates. They're here to help you get back on, on your feet. Thanks to community assistance, Fearless Dance could resume lessons next week. It is just nice knowing that we aren't alone going through this and there are so many different ways of getting relief and assistance in this time of need. Now, if you are one of those who needs assistance for your business, head over to that disaster assistance center any day during regular business hours. Their loans range from anywhere from 2.6, uh, 2.8 to 5.6 percent, depending on your qualifications. And if you're a homeowner needing assistance, you can also go there for help. They've already handed out nearly 18 million dollars to more than 100 families. Reporting live in Superior, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. That really is something. Support and all kinds of options. Things we love to hear for those people going through all of this. Dylan, thank you.